some of the best craft beer I've ever had. Damn straight. This is actually quite fun. Oh, collecting shells. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, no, I produce. Is that how you get them out of the sand to come out? <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta put a little bit down for the gods, the fishing gods. You put a little bit down here as an offering. It's a peace thing. It's actually an old Aboriginal tradition. Uh, but anyway, yes, this is the local fruit. Uh, they use it uh, up to, behind these mountains. They make it for you. They grow the plantations, they ferment it, and yeah, you find it with shell collecting. So this is a good stuff. So this is the, the genuine McCoy. It's healthy for you. It doesn't give you headache. There's no hangover in the mornings. It's got all natural products. There's no artificial colors or flavorings. It's the, this is, this is the stuff. Uh, cheers. This is for you, chap. Good on you, mate. Good man. Thank you very much. Good morning. <coughs> How are you? Good yeah. morning, you. I am fantastic. Guys, I just let a dart. It's unbelievable how quick you get a bite on this bait. I've literally left the rod down for three, four minutes and I'm on with a good fish. Screamed off, very strong. Uh, almost going into my backing. Oh, what happened? What? Oh. Yeah, oh. oh no. Alright, I don't know what happened. I just got into my backing and uh, just came loose. I have to show you guys how these guys operate here. Yeah? They've got a proper live well for the live bait in the front of the trainer. Just pump it full of water. Take all the fish inside, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> Guys, you yeah, are operating. <laughs> if you want the job done the easiest way, you're going to ask the laziest person. <laughs> one time's beer cake and one time's live well. Now, guys in South Africa, we wish we can still uh, drive on the beaches like this. I uh, must have counted 300, 400 cars here. It's Fraser Island, up and down, very popular. It's out of season, well not out of, it's in Taylor season, but out of holiday season. And it's full up. The guys just come here and how well set up are these guys. I'll run you through the trailer sometime. You can see everything, all the tackle is in there, everything at night. Just close it, you go to bed. And it's set up in such a way that we can do all the cooking here on the beach. Um, there's electricity, you can charge the batteries, we can charge everything. There's lights, there's, ah, oh, you name it, there's solar panels on the roof. Really, really properly set up. And this is where they're pumping the water behind me, right about there's the two guys swimming. And it's pumping about 50 meters up into the live bait well. That's how you do it. As you saw, they filled the live bait well. Now there's a big rip current going out here, the wind's dropped off a bit. I'm going to put a, what they refer to as a dart. Our three spot Pompano. Well, this one's got a lot of spots. I don't know if exactly the same one as ours. Circle hook, tuna, mustard tuna circle, eight toe, with cable ties, a balloon, which is just tied on there, fluorocarbon 0.66, 11.6 saltist Daiwa rod, and the Daiwa 4000 with 20, 20 pound, the saltist 4000 with 20 pound J braid. Let's get in the water before it dies. You'll see there's a very, very nice rip current. I threw it just a bit too right. Overexcited, so it's moving slowly towards it and then it should take it out. It's already going, as you can see, slowly. And I'll just feed it because there was a whole bunch of GTs here earlier that came fast with the speed. And they feed on the dogs. 
get them interested. Um, see that balloon pop. Come on, suck, suck. Okay, I threw a dart with a got a small chuck here. Got the Saltus 8000 and uh, the new Poseidon prototype medium heavy. Not a big fish, it's a small one. But that had you into the backing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna circle. This thing must have jumped and obviously tried to wrap himself and he broke a straight in the hook. Ah, I think I got a small fish on. Okay, so we uh, slid a dead shad He's in the water for quite some time and uh, I've got a little fish on here. Nothing too big. I'm also hooked on someone else's line. Very strange, uh, strange fish. A nurse shop. Nurse shop. Uh, hey, that's, that's, that's amazing. Not grey nose. No. It's got no teeth, huh? Yeah, lift them up. It's a nurse shop. Okay. Got it. Okay, guys. Uh, another species here in Australia. We're not sure what it is. Uh, it could be a nurse shark. It's got uh, no teeth. You can see there. No, oh, it's a bruiser. Go on, give her a name. D. Samantha. Rebecca. Sheila. Sheila. Oh, we're gonna call hey, this. Sheila. We're gonna call this one. Aria. Aria. That's my. That's my little girl's name. Oh, I'm excited. It's unbelievable the type of species of sharks you get here. Just goes to show how healthy this ecosystem is. And uh, I'm ecstatic, ecstatic, ecstatic. 